All right, the results are out. Let's have a look where I was this week then. So I won 63 pence credit. Well, I only spent a couple of quid. Actually, I spent two pence. Um, let's have a look. So there's a winning cross there, which is higher than I'd gone. Uh, I'd gone down here. So, I mean, I guess this... The, the winning cross is sort of in line with the green player there. It's, it's not, do you know what I mean? It's only sort of slightly out. If you drew a straight line from his eyes to the winning cross, I'm only slightly off that line. Um, this guy here, mm, I can close it in a bit. Yeah, I guess he could, could be looking up there. Yeah. So what was I in? So, am I right on the edge there? Zone 2, zone 3. Oh, I've lost it. Hang on. I can't quite tell there if that's zone 2 or zone 3. Alright, let's have a look at the judging quickly then to see, uh, see how they drew this conclusion. Wow, that's quite a big spread this week. Um, let's have a closer look. Well, there's five of them in a cluster together there. So, yeah, that's good. We can see what's going to go here. Um, these are random. These two here, I mean, you've got to look at this guy's eyesight. His eyesight? I have no idea what his eyesight's like. You've got to look at his eye line. He's looking up in sort of this this direction here. So you can only see the one eye anyway. So um, how on earth you can get two all the way over here it makes no sense to me at all. The guy in green, well, his eyesight is a little bit vague. He's looking in sort of, I mean, I guess he's looking in that sort of area there. So. Again, that one, that one's got to go because that makes no sense to either player. That one, mm, that makes sense to the player in green, but not to this fella down here. Um, again, this one is far too low for the player in green. Doesn't make sense. Uh, these two could be. I think it would be along that range. His eyesight would be. So I'd be. Um, I, I would have guessed he'd have put the cross in this sort of area if he was just going by these. Um, but that's a big spread. I right, was moving on a bit further then and see whose uh, crosses they've taken out. Okay, well they're about to submit their um, the the winning average, and yet looking at this, they've only taken two crosses out: Jenna's and Joe's. And Joe's again, I think, um, which is the absurd one up here, and the other daft one was down here. So his view there, I I was. Where was I? It was down here somewhere, when I? Roughly about by there, I think. So his view there, if you went across there now and drew fresh lines, that's quite a narrow band. But he th th he's still sort of looking up in this in this area. You you can't get his eyesight by any stretch of the imagination to be over here, so I think this one should have gone as well. But that would have only put it further away from mine. It would have been over here somewhere. Um, as these two are so far out of the cluster, personally, I think they should have gone. And he would have brought this back over a bit. I still wouldn't have won, but it would have. Uh, I, I think it would have made more sense. Oh, actually, there's two there. I didn't realise that. I'm colour blind. I can't see colours properly. So there's two there and one there. Oh, I suppose they wouldn't have taken five out of they all together. Perhaps that's why they left those two in. Um. Hmm. Okay. I'm not 100 percent convinced this week that they've uh, they've only taken two out when you've got such a wide spread there. But then again, I haven't watched the whole. Um, I haven't watched the whole thing. I uh, flipped forward to see where they'd actually put the crosses. So it turns out I had more back than I actually spent um, for last week. This is what I spent. I only done two tickets. I done a free ticket was the autobiography because it's the dearest car I could uh, I could pick on the gold ticket, and. I bought one ticket on the California Ocean because it was half price, and I really want a camper van more than I want a car. So that came to uh, four pound fifteen. They took four pound twelve, sorry, four pound thirteen credit off, and I actually paid two pence. I actually had to pay two pence to enter last week, and I've got um, eighty nine pence credit for this week. So I don't know what I'm going to go for this week. Um, I haven't done them yet. I've uh, I've picked my free car. Uh, and they've picked another one for a camper van, and that's all I've done so far is the two tickets, a free one and a, one I bought. But I'm going to hang on till later in the week to see if um, if there's any offers on, because I don't particularly like these ones. This uh, daily deal, 24 hours. Yeah, my, my problem with it is I've got to wait all week now 
up until Sunday until I come across one I actually like. I don't like, personally, I don't like these, this 10, 500 pound cash bonus. If there's thousands of people playing, the chances of me getting um, uh, a 500 pound win just because there's 10 of them is probably pretty unlikely. So I waited until perhaps they'll do another, uh, they'll do another half price camper van, or maybe they'll do a car plus 100k. That's what I'm really sort of uh, looking for. So all I've done so far this week is uh, the custom nugget transit camper and the Range Rover again. But I haven't. Uh, doesn't look a difficult um, thing. I haven't done any crosses yet, but it looks reasonably simple. He's looking in that sort of direction. He's looking. The thing is, this one, this guy in green, is looking forward. So you've got to look at this in 3D in that it's sort of, it's it's in front of him rather than above him. Do you know what I mean? It's going to be it's, it's going to be a tricky one. It's going to be, um, well, he's looking forward and the other guy's looking up and sideways. So it's got to be this this sort of area, surely. Anyway, I'll spend a bit of time on that now this evening and maybe uh, get some tickets in there and see what I'm going to do. All right, nice one. Thanks, everyone. Speak next Tuesday. Enjoy your week.